Hey, Quagmire, Cleveland, and Joe. It's your buddy, Peter. And I'm about to thread the needle to prove to you guys how sorry I am and that I'd do anything to win you back. And if something goes wrong and I don't survive, you can go ahead and delete the Kennedy Center honors from my DVR. I'm, I'm never going to watch that. Okay, here goes nothing. I just wish the sponsor on my suit was a little cooler. Peter, stop! Don't jump! Brian told us you were gonna... Why are you wearing a douche suit? They also make wipes. They're not known for their wipes. Peter, you don't have to jump off a cliff to prove you're sorry. Not all of us believe that, but we took a vote and I agreed I'd respect the majority. Look, you really treated us badly, but the fact that you'd be willing to literally risk your life just to show us how much you care, well, that says a lot. Listen, I'm so sorry. If being cool means I don't get to hang out with you guys, then I don't ever want to be cool. What do you say? Can we just go back to being friends? Ah, of course. You bet. Totes my goats. Uh, totes my goats? Maybe you guys are cool. Fist bump. <laughs> ah, crap! Ah! Oh, my God! Peter! Should I shoot him, make it go quicker? I got a shot. Too late, you didn't answer quick enough. Ah! Hey, I'm doing it! This ain't so hard. Guys, I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna thread the needle! What? We can't hear you! We're very far away! Oh my god, I did it! I was actually able to thread the... Oh crap, Canadian goose! Look out, eh? Damn it! Oh, son of a bitch! I think I'm okay. Ah, Nichols! Well, it's good to be back, you guys. And I'm sorry again I dumped you for Stryker. Who the hell's this Stryker guy you keep talking about? What do you mean? He's that cool, handsome guy I was friends with. He's the whole reason I went wingsuiting and hurt my head. Wingsuiting? Peter, you hurt your head in a lady's bathroom. Yeah, your legs fell asleep and you bashed it against a sink. You were in a coma for two weeks. You must have dreamed about this striker or something. No, we were buddies. We rode on his motorcycle. And he introduced me to 1997 George Clooney. Okay, well, right there, you should have known it wasn't real. Huh. Well, whether it was real or not, I want you to know, you are the best friends I've ever had. Of course, we know that, Peter. Yeah, and we feel the same way. Hey, this is a really weird question, but do you boys want to go out dancing? That night, we danced until the sun came up. We forgot all about my coma and my crazy dream about a cool guy. We were just four middle-aged men doing ecstasy at a Mexican prom. I'm Peter Griffin, and these are my stories.